the first trailer for the new Jungle Book movie from Disney. Now, you heard Christian and Mark and I talk about the footage that we saw at D23 where they showed a Marvel presentation, where they had a Lucasfilm presentation. And at least for my money, what stole the show was Jungle Book. Now, this trailer that dropped today, I think it was about a minute 30? Yeah, it was about like a minute 40 tops. The one that the stuff that we saw at D23 was probably, what, three and a half, probably four minutes? Probably three and a half yeah. or four minutes long. A lot of the stuff that's in the trailer was in that footage as well. Some key things missing in this trailer <laughs> that we still got to see, but still, this trailer dropped. Schnepp, this was your first exposure sure. to anything from Jungle Book. Your reaction to this Jungle Book trailer? Well, I was really excited to see it because I, you guys had talked about it so much. I was like, I don't know if it's really that good until <laughs> I see it. I was, no, I couldn't wait to see it, and it blew me away. I, I was completely shocked and amazed at how great the CG animation is. I love the way it looks, just the tone that they're... The, the way that they've created this jungle. I mean, it's really mysterious and dark and scary. But I, And I also really like Baloo. You know, the few scenes... I mean, these animals are acting like animals, so it's also really weird to see them talking because all the mannerisms or everything are, are very animalistic, not human. So I can't wait to see it. I, 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 the trailer blew me away. Yeah, I, for me, it captured everything that that first time we saw it in that hall uh, at D23. It's, it's phenomenal. And you have to pinch yourself and remind yourself that everything shot there was in a soundstage in Los Angeles. They didn't go out to the Amazon and shoot some rivers. No. Everything you're seeing is CG. And I remember we were there. John Favreau comes out and he says to start off talking about the jungle, he goes, this is the most technologically advanced film ever made. And we're like, wait, well, wait a minute. You just had Kevin Feige on stage with you. <laughs> Lucasfilm is coming up in a bit. And you're sitting here talking about how a jungle book is the most technologically advanced. And then they showed us that footage. And I was just, now, unfortunately, some of the key things they did not include in the trailer that we did get to see, we, we didn't hear, get to hear uh, Christopher Walken talk as King Louis. Wait mm -hmm. to hear him talk as King Louis. It's mm -hmm. pretty special. We didn't get to hear, um, we didn't get to hear Sir Ben Kingsley's voice. We, did, we didn't get to hear a lot of the voices other than Scarlett Johansson's, which also sounded great. Uh, and you didn't get to hear Bill Murray as Baloo. But except for him whistling a little bit, that last shot of the trailers are going right. down the rear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you whistle Bare that for necessities. us? I can't whistle at all. <laughs> anyway, Mark, your reaction to the trailer. Uh, well, let me pick myself up off the ground after that <laughs> comment. Uh, this trailer was total dime piece, y'all. This thing is like, it's, it's, a, it's a minute 40 of, of what I was hoping everybody else would get to see from what we saw at D23. The one issue that I will have, if I'm going to be nitpicky, is I love the way that the D23 footage led off with Ben Kingsley as the Panther, yeah, yeah, whereas yeah. this led off with Scarlett Johansson. You can't really go wrong either way but I thought Ben Kingsley's voice as the Panther who is Mowgli's buddy in the Jungle Book story yeah. it's like it, it lent a little bit more gravity to the situation whereas the use of Scarlett Johansson it did feel like a teaser which is what this trailer is so I guess it makes perfect sense that you don't really know if you can trust her yet she's just kind of ingratiating you as an audience into this world and the fact that there's a boy here and he does not belong in the jungle the way that all the action scenes the quick action scenes that they showed us and I'll tell you guys this from having seen the footage that we've seen not only as well as Scarlett Johansson's voice matches that snake, everybody else's voice matches their animals Idris so well. Idris Elba's. Remember Idris Elba's voice as, as Shere Khan? Khan. Shere Khan. Wow. I was really hoping they would have given us a little bit of the Shere mm -hmm. Khan voice because when we heard him at D23, yeah. everybody in the audience was just like, whoa. Wow. Idris Elba's voice as Shere Khan was just like, nailed it. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, and you know, for all this stuff that we give, we, we always give J.J. Abrams all this credit for doing the new Star Wars and going back to practical effects and real sets. And then we hear this is all shot like two doors down from where this studio is and we're like yeah this is awesome so as long as you make it look realistic we're going to be happy as an audience you know what i was going to say is uh some of the shots of Mowgli jumping mm -hmm. i swear to god it's like right out of the original animated jungle book like i think because it's some of those shots are like a cg kid and i think they painstakingly like did like you know they framed it and did a storyboard compositional shot so it looks right out of the animated uh, jungle Book, because that was one of my favorite jungle book the uh, movies as a kid was oh jungle yeah book. i loved well, it it's it's interesting you bring up Mowgli because to me what this whole movie is going to hinge on is whether this nine-year-old kid i think he was nine when they shot mm -hmm. the movie can because right he's the only human character in right. this in this movie can he sell it and now you expect co-stars of a movie to come out and all just come out on stage and say great things but I had the feeling when Lupita Nyong'o and Ben Kingsley were talking about this young kid who plays Mowgli, 
they sold me that they love this kid. They sold, like, they convinced me that they really love what this kid did in this movie. Um, so if that works out, like, who would have thought when we first heard the announcement, oh, hey, there's a couple of Jungle Book movies coming, right. uh, one from one studio, one from another, that we'd be sitting here now, getting towards the second, getting into the second half now of 2015, going, I cannot wait for Jungle Book, but I cannot <laughs> wait for Jungle Never Book. Never thought I'd hear you say that, or myself. Say yeah, that either, but, but this movie is going to be, yeah. and if he crushes it, John Favreau is just putting himself on a new level. Oh yeah, 